Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mike, host of the free iTunes podcast, Psychiatric Secrets Reveal with Dr. Mike, but that's not why I'm here today. This is another Saving Savvy episode, and this one continues on with my quest to find another clock radio. I know, what a serious problem I have. So I live in a fringe area outside of Chicago, and I'm about 35 miles away from downtown Chicago, and that means that I don't get very good FM reception. And I, I like listening to NPR, National Public Radio, and so I have to have a good clock radio to wake up to. And for many years, I had the Boston Acoustics, I think it was called the Wave Receptor, which was probably the best FM tuner of any radio I've ever well of any clock radio that I've ever used and that radio 12 years kind of what do you expect from a clock radio it kind of went um, and so last week I reviewed the Tivoli I think it's the Albergo um, which was a nice little radio I, I, it had some flaws but it was insanely expensive this week I'm reviewing the Sanjian RCR3 radio. Again, a, a little on the pricey side, nothing like the Albergo. This radio retails for about $75. So this is really a high feature radio. And if you just need something simple and you live close to your radio station, I'm sure you could get by with a $20 or $30 radio from Target. But this kind of takes it up a bunch of notches. So let me tell you a little bit about it. Um, so this is Sanji, and this is a Taiwanese company who has, they've been making radios for forever. And in fact, they make a lot of radios, or they've made a lot of high-end radios sold under more American-sounding brands. Um, this particular radio has been out for a long time, and it really is feature-packed. But because of that, you're going to have to read the supplied manual just to get started. And one warning is the manual often uses the word, it says, plus press the standby button uh, that's a translation error error that just means press press the on off button so if you see standby and you can't find it anywhere in the manual diagram or on the radio that's because it's not there it's the on off button so let's take a look at this radio and some of its uh, features and then we'll talk about how well it functions so first of all you have this really nice analog clock I'm gonna light it up it's gonna blow out my little webcam here um, did I it did it oh it didn't didn't go on I wonder if I unplugged oh I'm unplugged that's why <laughs> that's why you can't see it I'm running on battery but when it lights up it's quite bright and this cl this clock radio actually looks a lot nicer in person than it does on the screen it's fairly lightweight high gloss plastic on the front but it has a very elegant look it has seven presets for AM and seven presets for FM. And, and also you can set the time by a variety of ways. You can set the time manually. You can use um, the RDS signal that some radio stations have. So RDS is radio data system and some radio stations will broadcast that. And it might have, for instance, the, the call letters of the radio station or some other little information, traffic information, the name of a song, that sort of stuff. But it also can set your clock automatically and this you have to have a radio or that will do that and this one does it also will set the clock through the international time stations so throughout the world there are, are, are a handful or two of international atomic clock stations that actually measure the time by um, very fancy techniques where they energize atoms and electrons move through different level energy levels and by their movement up and down they can measure time so accurately that you wouldn't even lose a second in like 30 million years or something and so those are the most accurate um, clocks out there and you can set this to the atomic clock if you want to put it that way and not atomic like uranium but more like physics. Um, so it can set through RDS, it can set manually, and it can set through the atomic uh, clock kind of radio stations. And so that's really awesome too. It also has four alarms, not two alarms, but four alarms. And those alarms can be set as a single alarm or to, to ring um, every day or to ring just during the weekdays or to ring during the weekends. So you have a lot of varieties and the little indicators here will light up when you, um, when you set that alarm. The alarm uh, setting is slightly a pain because you have to go through a bunch of clicks to set it. Not very difficult, but yet um, a, a bit of a pain, but 
you know, no big deal. Um, you have the second display up here, which I don't even know what you can see here probably not much but that will display a, a second time if you want so you can get time on both or it can it will show you the date or it will show you the RDS information um, so it's really quite handy for those sorts of things and what I really like which you just don't see on a lot of radios is now you do have like a little dimmer switch here but you can actually set the overall brightness of your displays down here but you can also set the overall brightness oh, I've got to cancel something just popped up on my screen the overall loudness of your alarm and what does that mean that means that you can go to uh, sleep let's say to a soft not too loud radio and wake up to a completely different station at a completely different volume or if you want a beep alarm you can adjust the level of that beep and this has what's called a humane waking system where it starts out soft and then gradually builds up in volume which is also kind of nice it's not a blaring sort of thing um, I told you I think I told you about the presets you have seven presets for AM and FM um, you have a auxiliary in something that I probably won't use but I think it's nice to have that so you could plug in with a patch cord your um, music from a computer or your phone or whatever and you'd be able to play it this way if you chose to for very inexpensive on places like eBay probably under ten dollars or maybe for a little bit over twenty dollars on Amazon you could buy a, buy a little tiny YouTube adapt or Bluetooth adapter and stream it live you know through Bluetooth if you chose to do that you have a headphone jack out which I do think is really nice and I probably would use and that's going to be in stereo and a tone control separate volume control for the radio etc now um, you're I'm almost obligated to compare this to the albergo because that was the last radio um, that I reviewed which uh, it was a nice radio it was had some quirky features but it was like crazy expensive this one is about 75 bucks so it's really not cheap but much much more reasonable and this also features a three inch speaker but Sanjian takes a different route with um, their speakers than uh, Tivoli does so Tivoli tends to go to a very they use a very pleasant sounding but somewhat artificial bass kind of bottom end speaker so so it sounds very good it tends to be a little bit boomy but music sounds just fine it's, it sounds fine you know it's, it's, it's very pleasant sounding the Sanjian also uses a three inch speaker um, it doesn't have quite the bottom end of the uh, the Tivoli radios but at the same time it tends to produce mid-ranges more accurately so things like speech or brass or you know strings that kind of stuff actually sound a, a bit better on this radio than they would on the Tivoli the Tivoli sounds a bit better if you have more bass in it you know neither of these are super high fidelity radios even though they might claim to be um, but they they both sound quite pleasant but in different ways well how about the radio performance again I'm, I'm looking for a radio that has good FM fringe performance and the Sanjian does not disappoint so its FM performance is really quite good for a clock radio is it as good as the Tivoli Ooh, it's, it's so tough to say but I'd say it's a slight 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 notch down so so if my original Boston acoustics was here we'd say the Tivoli is here and we'd say the Sanjian is like maybe there so a little not not quite as good just about as good FM performance what about AM performance now neither the Tivoli nor this radio are what we call DX or distance radios. They're not really designed to pick up those really weak stations in between the local powerful stations. You can get a few, but not many. So they don't have very good sensitivity or selectivity, really. They don't. The Tivoli had opted for some reason on this Albergo to have a very narrow swatch when you tune to a radio station, which left the AM, in my opinion, sounding flat. Um, this has a little wider swatch of frequency when it picks up the uh, AM radio signal, so it sounds much better to my ear. Now, AM is never going to sound as good as FM. There's just not as much data being pumped through the radio. Um, but you still want it to sound at least Chris, not like someone's talking like that. So, so I think this radio does a bit better job just sound-wise. Um, with that said, um, it's not going to be a radio that you're going to be picking up places afar from.
Now, I'm actually going to also do a review on the Tivoli Model 3, which uh, actually has very pleasant AM, and we'll talk about that probably in the near future. So you'll get to, you know, Tivoli makes different decisions, I guess, based on their radios. So all in all, I'd say this amazing radio with four alarms, with all these presets, you can, you have a nap timer where you can say, I want to take a 30 minute nap or whatever, it will set that. You can program the amount of snooze time that you want. So do you, do you like short snoozes or do you like a longer snooze bar? You can program that into this radio. All of the controls are built on the radio so you don't really have to worry about um, uh, you know losing the remote and all. And I think it's a, it's a really a good value for the money, um, but but you might get by with a cheaper radio. Now it's really interesting. I manually adjusted my gain because I'm not so crazy about this new webcam I have, and now the sun's coming out, so I'm getting blown out. Sorry, guys. So, anyways, I would say um, definitely it's a radio that I like. I'm a radio collector, so I'll keep it. Um, the next one coming up, I think, is going to be the Tivoli Model 3, one of their classic radios. We'll take a look at that one. And if you get some time, please give my podcast a listen. It's called Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike, and you can find it on iTunes. And please uh, like this video if you like it, and please subscribe uh, for other videos. And as always, have a really great day. Take care.